One of Tesco's suppliers is located about 60 kilometers outside Bangkok. Not a supplier to Tesco Lotus, but a supplier to Tesco UK. Tesco UK sourced many products from Thailand because, first thing I think, Thailand is a good market, especially for the wooden item. Uh, the price is very competitive and also the product is very good, I mean quality is very good and the, I mean, the source of the wood I mean, is very reliable. We have the government to support us on this one and also may, because we have many wooden factories in Thailand and so each factory will compete with each other. So that's good you know, for the Tesco and for any uh, country. Acme Industries supplies Tesco UK with wooden items, household articles like bowls and trays, made from the wood of rubber trees that have reached the end of their life as latex producers. Acme also make a wide range of furniture for export, although presently not for Tesco. We start in 1979, so that is allowed more than 20 years ago. The time we start, you know, mainly what we are doing is the household item, the small piece item, right, the kitchen, the household item. That is the, 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 the product that we start with. So after we start for allow, what, 10 years, or allow 10 years ago, we, we, we foreseen that there's some potential in the furniture line. And that is a big opportunity for us if we want to expand our business. The company was a domestic manufacturer, highly labour intensive and using only light engineering skills. As such, they were vulnerable to rising labour costs as Thailand's industrial economy grew. Their solution was to develop design capabilities, to aim for higher margin furniture products and to build export markets. Their raw material, wood, is in itself an interesting part of the story. The rubber wood in Thailand is mainly used for the latex. Okay. Uh, normally, the, the rubber tree has to be grown about seven years before it gives you the latex. Okay. And it will give the latex last for 25 years to 30 years. Up to that time, the rubber tree will be no longer provide the latex anymore. Our people have to cut it down anyway. Okay? So on this is the, the, the benefit for the furniture business in Thailand. We get the benefit from that cut tree, okay, which is no use for the latex anymore. That we will go to the process to go to the, uh, the saw, to saw it, okay, to the sawmill, to cut it, and then to treat it okay, to be in the kin drying. Okay. After that, it has been drying and it will be uh, delivered to our plants to go for the process. Dealings between suppliers and Tesco follow a now familiar administrative pattern. We never have the formal contract with the supplier. Actually, we have like a guarantee by Tesco name. This is come from Tesco, if you believe in Tesco. So please work with us, something like that. And that spirit continues back from Acme through their own supply chain. During the, the summer season, there will be a lot of production out because you can pay, you can cut the tree from the uh, farm, very convenient. But during the, the landing season, less production. So of course, suppose in the dry season that a lot of production now. So here you have to, to, to work with your, 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 your timber supplier in a, in a fair, right? Help them in case that there are too much production and do you still have some warehouse, uh, some space left in your warehouse. So you have to buy from them and keep the stock. But while there may be trust and cooperation, Controlling quality means that there must be more formal processes. Uh, for the audit issue, we have the quality manager here to do a factory evaluation. And the issue that they concern is that the workers 
and the condition of the factory and also the quality of the product. Also, any special certificate like the ISO or any, you know, like uh, the, the source of the wood, this is reliable and that person will take care for all factory evaluation. And before we make the shipment, they will also do a final inspection for Tesco as well. Acme work with laminated wood, a sad but unavoidable consequence of the way we've overexploited the world's timber resources. In the past, about 20 or 30 years ago, the bowl was made from a single lumber. Okay, just as the bowl on this big, the trees got to be this size. Okay, and this big, the, the tree got to be this size. Then they will cut it and they dig it out. Okay, and uh, after that, the process has changed. So we have to find a way how to still, how can we still make a bowl with a really small piece of the, the, the wood. So, with solid wooden products, now a luxury item, Acme are developing the intermediate market, laminated products for the supermarkets. After we receive the, the lumber, first we have to test the moisture content, which is a very vital to our products and all the furniture parts. Okay. After we check the moisture contents and everything is according to the specifications, uh, we will then go through the process we call cut to size, okay, where the lumber has been cut. And at that time, we will screen out all the natural defects. And after that, we will go for the planning process, okay, to plan it. After that, uh, we then take it into the lamination process. We put it together to laminate all the, the each piece of the wood we, we already planned, okay. and then to go to the, the we call the shaping to make it just as the bow. As the raw material is rubber trees that have reached the end of their productive life, it follows that recycling of waste products is taken seriously. Well, the, the, the sawdust can, can, can be recycled into the, what we call the MDF board to another factories. And for the chip, uh, the, the, the chip of wood, it will go for what we call the particle board processing. Okay. Some of the wasted wood that we produce in our plants will be put into what you call into the boiler okay, to produce some energy back to our factories. Acme are not just supplying Tesco UK. Their products are being offered to all the Tesco operations. Uh, when Tesco UK buy some product from Thailand, they will also try to you know, expand to global of Tesco because Tesco is not only in UK, they are also in, in Ireland, uh, in Taiwan, and also in Czech and Slovak, Poland, many countries. So they try to assemble a quantity and sell to other countries as well. For example, if we ship the product from Thailand to UK, they try to pass to Ireland also, so that we have like a bigger volume. They try to you know, export to Korea, to Taiwan at the same price, so that Tesco in the global picture is the same. Going into countries, you have to be critically aware of the impact that you'll have on the economy and the impact that you'll have on customers. Customers are increasingly demanding more choice, so there's a, there's a driver there. Uh, whether you know, you're talking about Central Europe or Southeast Asia, there's a driver for more choice. So there is undoubtedly a, a pulling power of foreign investment in. It's not, not a one-way thing. Also, in terms of the economic infrastructure um, of some of these countries, a healthy import-export trade is going to actually help balance the payments. But it has to be a two-way street. So if you take our entry into Thailand, 
one of the things that we were very aware of there is we bought the business in Thailand when the economy was at the bottom of the Southeast Asian dip. Thailand very correctly traded itself out of its economic problems very quickly because the country is technically almost self-sufficient in most of its, its foodstuffs and, and, and the things that it needs. But it could never move on from being a self-sufficient economy until it got its export business up again. One of the things that foreign investment has allowed to happen is to get the export business booming again. So we take prawn from there, we take chicken from there, we take plastics from there, we take a lot of products. We in fact export more from Thailand than we import into Thailand. Thank <music> you.